New at six, accident or attack. A local jockey is filing a lawsuit after her bad fall puts her career in jeopardy. Team Six reporter Dan Krauth is live outside that track at Calder Racecourse where the lawsuit claims the competition was anything but friendly, Dan. That's right, Adam. Horse racing can be a competitive and also a dangerous sport. One female jockey says she was on the racetrack behind me here called a race course when another jockey took their ongoing feud to new extremes. What happened next was captured on video. Here's the award winning jockey Zarella O'Reilly before the fall, and here she is after in the ICU of the hospital. She has no memory of this dangerous fall from her horse, but as she sat today in tears, her uncle said she's now living with the consequences. Injury in the, in the brain, you bleed inside the brain, you bleed in for the nose. The race on June 27 started like any other. But as Ore, who is closest to the railing on the right of the screen, took the turn, you can see the jockey in yellow close in on her. And what happens next? Now we have a horse down. Ore claims that jockey in yellow, Josie Gomez, caused the fall on purpose by whipping the horse in her direction. An allegation Gomez denied to me over the phone, saying she did nothing intentional to harm her. He said, throw her, make it. The two jockeys had a history of altercations, and police were even called to the track that very morning when the two women got into a scuffle. At some point, it turned much more dangerous than professional jealousy. But Ori's attorney is not filing suit against Gomez. They filed a lawsuit against Calder Racecourse, holding the company responsible. Several horse owners and a third party went to the steward who controls racing at Calder and said, you must do something. Someone's going to get hurt, and it's going to be Zarella, and they did nothing. Allegations that will now be worked out in court. Gomez was suspended for 15 days, but still riding, as Ori waits to find out if she'll be able to ride professionally again. And it is Calder's policy not to comment on pending litigation. Attorneys tell us that the Miami Guardians Police Department investigated and just handed off their paperwork to the state attorney's office to determine what, if any, charges should be filed. Live in Miami Gardens, Dan Krauth, NBC6, South Florida.